went down to the sniper. Yay for that. And Goliath is passing by some engineers, does not give a crap. I'm gonna do what I want, and I'm gonna roll into the American base, and I'm gonna blow up right outside of his barracks. Yay for that. And the barracks is down to 20% health. One rifle squad took, took two casualties, do have to retreat. And uh, he says, rookie mistake, I don't know. 24 infantry kills for the sniper, and the sniper is happily capping the high fuel point by the western map. And now the American player has two rifle squads, one stall and MG42, and one engineer on the field. Pretty low unit count for both players, but as I said, that fuel advantage that the American player had because of his early game dominance gave him the ability to get a tank out, and that tank is an M10 tank destroyer, which is gonna do chuck shit because there's no tanks on the field that can, unless he's trying to crash some infantry. Let's see if that's gonna be the case. In the meantime, <laughs> the American player just blew up the Vermont player's bunker. So there you go, that demolition charge was put in good use, and while the chat is keep going, I can't keep track of both the chat and the game at the same time. Uh, however, I will note that the Vermont player is cut off from the west, and he must have been cut off for about 30 seconds or one minute right now, so that's about it. Um, M10 now in the Wehrmacht player's base, attacking his uh, Panzer Command, the Panzer Command that is shown as building something, and for the sake of mankind, please that not be um, <laughs> an Ostwind, because I really don't think that this would work, although it would chime in this general Freakiness in this game. Oh hell yeah, it's a Panther. And we have field repairs by the American player. Oh, so his armor. Hell yeah. That's a good thing. Actually, I'm lying. I know what <laughs> the commander and the doctor will be because they were on the freaking replay for some reason. And it actually um, helped me decide that I would cast this game because they were just interesting commander and doctrines respectively. Sneaky cap by the one-man engineer squad on the high fuel point in the west, somehow escaping the eagle eye of the sniper, who has now ranked up to 30 infantry kills. Oh my god, that M10 is still alive and kicking in the <laughs> um, Wehrmacht player's base. Panther has not taken any damage, however the Panzer's command is in danger of going down. If this, if this M10 continues to circle strafe that Panther and attacks the Panzer command, hmm, maybe it's gonna go down. However, we do have stormtroopers on the field, probably upgrading with Shreks if they haven't already. I think, yeah, they haven't already because I just zoomed in on them. And probably that M10 is gonna be short-lived from now on. While well, the sniper still handing down uh, American infantry, 32 infantry kills, uh, hanging out by the west portion of the map and forcing us for the rifleman to retreat. And now the M10 finally is gonna get out of the Wehrmacht player's base. He did not actually uh, succeed in his mission to destroy the Panzer Command, however, he forced. Uh, We're down to 200 points. I would say forced, I don't know if he intended to go stormtroopers, but he forced a stormtrooper investment uh, by the uh, Wehrmacht player with. Puncher shrieks, not the, uh, the less, and of course we have something else building from the tank depot, and the panther is still around, so that M10, unless backed up by more M10s, as it seems to be the case right now, because there are two M10s on the field, he's gonna have a fairly easy time against two, with the support of the stormtroopers. When the M10s come to a number of three, I would say, it's time to reconsider. But maybe there's another Panther building by the Panzer Command, who knows? I'm not viewing from the Wehrmacht player's perspective, so I wouldn't know. That second M10 uh, needs to be repaired sometime. And for some reason the American player has two MG-40, it's probably both stolen by the Wehrmacht player. And the Volksradiers are now... Well, I'm not gonna do anything, because they just got... 
<sighs> in the middle of two MG42s. Actually, the one MG42 is an American one, so because of the noise, I figured it out. Am I not good? <laughs> uh, so there you go, just one stolen MG42, that's the morale of the story. Panther moving out, trying to take out the MG42, kills one member, stays around for a while. M10s getting field repaired because they just walked into, I would say, the Panzer IV. Most probably that is the second tank out by uh, the Wehrmacht player, the second tank out of the Panzer command, and now the M10s are on the hand. That Vet Zero Panther may actually go down to them. Unless he takes one M10 with it, one main can destroy it, that M10 may try, should try to circle strafe. No Panther, what are you doing? Don't turn to the other M10. Oh, kill the one in low health, please. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, that's a good thing. That shot seemed to not penetrate by the M10. Still fighting, second uh, Panzer IV coming to assist the Panther, and at this time I would say that the choice of the Wehrmacht player to target the full health, almost full health of them, kind of paid off because both of them, oh, both them tens will go down. And there was no Allied War Machine activated because the American player does not, has not gone that road, that road of the uh, Commander 3. So now at the 20 minute 53, 54, 55 second mark, the American, uh, the Wehrmacht player is once again in the lead. Uh, he has managed to save his Panther. He has killed two M10s. He still have his uh, um, sniper around, although there is a American sniper, by the way, out uh, by now. Could try to take a close range shot at some mine sweeper pioneers, but he missed miserably. So <laughs> Excuse me. So there you go. 35 infantry kills for the Wehrmacht sniper, tanks online, and um, things seem to have kind of you know stabilized for the Wehrmacht player, although. You do have to know the lack of some serious infantry. One Stormstopper uh, squad that tries to destroy the fence uh, to the north of the American player's base and manages to do so, and now he's gonna walk into the base. A Volksgrenadier squad, some pioneers, and a sniper is all the uh, Wehrmacht player uh, has. Uh, in contrast, the American player has three riflemen, the sniper, the stolen G, and of course his. Uh, engineers. Now, that <laughs> that grenade by the stormtroopers did not exactly pay it off, and in the way out of the American base, they drop a puncher shrek, and that is never good. And uh, since I see both the uh, Wehrmacht tanks at Vet Zero still, and no Kampfraff center up, I would say that Panzer Shrek could turn the game. Provided, of course, that the American player picks it up. Go pick up the freaking Panzer Shrek. Thank you. I think it's just going for it right now. And LM10 continues to be being. Actually, M10s continue to be to being pumped out of the tank depot. Probably the American player is going to wait for a second one. Yep, he has queued it up because one of them against the Panther and the Pancher is not gonna work so good and there you go Mr. Pancher Shrek one shot 15% health down for the Pancher for uh, Panther comes in but unless he tries to crash that infantry he's just gonna get shot by the Pancher Shrek and that's sweet that's what we just witnessed and now the Panther the Panther is down to 50% health because the second uh, puncher shrek shot actually did not penetrate. And the sniper, in a weird way, once again, decapping strategic points and killing infantry all day around. A third tank out by the Wehrmacht player, and once again, the puncher fought. 
Hmm. Seems that the Wehrmacht armor is uh, kind of getting all stronger. The more we go into the game and uh, the American player better address it soon before it gets out of hand. Especially if a Kampfgrab Center if goes up and they get veterancy. In the meantime, the American player lost a rifle spot under the fire of those two Panzer IVs, and he also lost the captured, or his own, I'm not so sure, MG team uh, by the West Victory Point. Victory Point wise, um, the Wehrmacht player is still in a good lead of 118 against 439 and uh, now we have a Panzer IV going down to the two M10s uh, that were under the effect of the field repairs so they could take you know the bidding by those three tanks however it may be the case that one M10 is gonna go down it does have a damaged engine the Panther is on the hand second shot by the Panzer II and uh, the M10 is down. However, the second division is still alive. Moving towards the Wehrmacht place base, probably is gonna meet up with some stormtroopers. No tanks nearby. Uh, Wehrmacht sniper supporting those two tanks that try to retreat away from that uh, Panzer Shrek equipped rifle squad. And once again, continual uh, production of M10s um, by the American player kind of keeps him on 2M10s on the field at most times. 2M10s, as we saw previously, are enough under the effect of field repairs to deal with uh, uh, two Panzer and a Panther. You know, they managed to take out a Panzer at least. And now those uh, Wehrmacht tanks are at, uh, at low health, at least the Panther is. So that's going to be a problem. And uh, the Wehrmacht player, for some reason, has two Knights Cross holder on the field, probably to compensate for his lack of any, you know, serious infantry on, it, on the field. Actually, um, make that three. He has three Knights Cross holders on the field, and the sniper, the Wehrmacht sniper, that is, still kicking infantry ass. And the M10s are in a uh, infantry crashing mood. <laughs> they just took down one of the Knights Cross holders, now killing another uh, squad member. And be careful, Mr. Knight Cross holder, because the M10s lurk in the way. Did the Wehrmacht? Oh no. I thought the Wehrmacht sniper went down, but he did not. However, the menace of these two M10s may be uncontrollable and the sniper will go down. No, he takes cover in the headquarters. And now the Panther has come to assist the Vermont player. However, a Panther against two M10s under field repairs, not gonna work. The Panther is even at low health. However, the stormtroopers are around. The Vermont player must not lose the Panther, but, but he will. Oh, he will. Or not. <laughs> One M10 goes down to the fire of the stormtroopers. Second M10 still around, takes out the Panther, gains Vet 3. He's gonna run out of the uh, uh, Wehrmacht player's base. And that's gonna be a problem for the Wehrmacht player, unless the Tigger comes in. And that's exactly what happened. We have a Tigger tank on the field. However, M10 still faster than the Tigger, and it's gonna run away and probably get repaired and probably get reinforcements in the form of another M10 or something even better, a Pershing. A Pershing that costs 900 manpower and now seems that the American player is saving up for it since he is currently at 750. M10 makes the, its way to the east trying to assist two rifleman squads taking on the Knight's Cross holder. For some... Oh, I thought it was a bar upgrade. No, there are no bars. Up to now for the American player, there is however, actually there is not even a trial center. So the, yes, there you go, another oddity in the American play, no bars, no trial center. But if you have seen the game up to now, you will notice that it's not a usual game. I hope he has stickies, please do have stickies, please throw a sticky, no, no, not even stickies. I don't even think he has grenades, so I would say he has no run on the grades whatsoever. Uh, no supply depot upgrade too, yay for that! 
Uh, the Pershing is on the field, drives off Knight's 